Good morning, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and exceedingly glad in it. First Corinthians 69 says, There's a wide open door for a great work here, although many oppose me. This is Pastor with the weekly greetings uh, for this week, beginning uh, October 31st, uh, which is actually going to bring us this week into the month of November. So a few things we just need to highlight. First and foremost, our annual Bible literacy uh, campaign program reading is going to be numbers 304 to 310. And so that's going to put us below the 60-day mark and bring us within two months of completing the campaign. And the time has gone fast, but thank God that we had another year of reading the Bible from cover to cover, word for word. This Wednesday and Friday morning, our teleconference prayer encounter uh, continues. This Wednesday evening is uh, the first Wednesday of the month, so we will be sowing this Wednesday evening's midweek, midweek encounter in prayer. Also, as of Tuesday, we'll be in the month of November, so I want to take this time to just wish those born in the month of November happy birthday, and for those uh, who may be celebrating, an celebrating anniversaries, uh, happy anniversary to you. And then also highlight that this is Thanksgiving month. And so we're just grateful to God for his many blessings and his goodness to us on so many different levels. Um, just to give you a quick heads up, election day is coming. Uh, it will be the first or second Tuesday actually uh, in November, which I believe is gonna be November 8th, okay? And we're gonna encourage you to get out and vote to take advantage of the uh, privilege that we have to exercise our voice. Uh, we don't tell you who to vote for, but we do encourage you to vote and prayerfully you will vote uh, your conscience as it is led by the Spirit of the Living God. Okay? Um, and just to our leaders, remember that after this uh, midweek, Wednesday evening time of prayer, we're having a very special meeting. So I'm going to ask you to please make sure you come out. And then we'll be into the first Sunday of the year before we get to the first Sunday. Uh, this Friday evening is going to be our all-night prayer encounter at 130 Jerusalem Avenue, the Holy Trinity Episcopal Church, where we're currently meeting in person. We're going to start at 1130 uh, in the evening and go up until 4 o'clock at the latest. All right. So come on out and join us in prayer. More than likely, we will not be able to broadcast it on Zoom because of just the manpower challenges that we have with doing so. And um, it's just going to be very difficult to be sure that someone can man the station um, and just keep it, you know, keep things uh, maintained if we have those who are watching by Facebook Live and Facebook Stream and or Zoom, all right? And then this uh, first, and also, because we're having um, the online prayer encounter, first Saturday teleconference prayer will be suspended, okay? So we're just going to have the all-night prayer encounter, and then first Saturday teleconference prayer will be suspended. And then I'll bring us into the first month, uh, or excuse me, the first Sunday for November. And as you know, we always observe the Lord's Supper. So please be prepared to observe the Lord's Supper on the first Sunday. All right. Uh, just by way of a few upcoming, upcoming notices. Uh, Thanksgiving Eve, Wednesday the 23rd, our midweek encounter is suspended so that we can give you time to prepare for whatever celebrations and family gatherings you're going to have and not be stressed about that. So Thanksgiving Eve, November 23rd, midweek is suspended. And of course, Sunday, December 25th, we are excited and looking forward to uh, Christmas Day celebration, but also the elevation of our own elder-elect Tanya Childs into the office of elder in the Lord's Church. And then Sunday, New Year's Day, um, we will be uh, having worship encounter at our location live celebrating God and giving him thanks for another year. And subsequently, New Year's Eve encounter will not take place because the turnaround time is too short. All right, well, that brings us to the close of this greeting today. And as our thought for the week, I just wanna highlight something that was said by our own Pastor Patricia Ken Butler as she delivered yesterday's message on unity, which is uh, there are times in, that God will have us do some things that we don't want to do and he may say some things to us that we don't want to hear, but it is our time to grow and glow. Amen? Amen. Let the words of our mouths and meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, you are our strength and our redeemer. 
Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above that we could ask or think, according to the power that works in us, unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus through all ages, world without end. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face and shine upon you and lift his countenance upon you and be gracious unto you and give you peace and be with you now forevermore. It's in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that we say and we pray. Amen.